Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Justin Lin here at Rehab and Revive Physical Therapy, where we rehab your mind to revive your body. There is a viral online phenomenon out there, the Asian squat. And I know that it is sometimes a misinformation out there that only Asians can do it. Both of your feet are flat on the ground. Yeah, so just bend your knees like that. <laughs> Fortunately, I'm Asian and I can do it, but for you non-Asians out there, we're gonna teach you a progressive way to get yourself into the Asian squat. In order to properly do an Asian squat, you're gonna need components of your body to do a couple things. You need to be flexible in your ankles, hips, and knees. This exercise is targeting the knees specifically. And the important thing about getting deeper into this squat is your knee, the bottom shin bone, sliding forward. So we're gonna do that with this exercise we call boogie boarding. Stay tuned. So let's actually show an Asian squat and get right to it. So a lot of times I'm gonna show you, of course, I can just get right into it. And here, you know, back in the day, you've seen some of my friends, they just sit there and smoke their cigarette. You know, you might see that in some Korean, Korean uh, soap operas on Netflix. Yeah, this is how it happens. A lot of times you have to be able to get your knees a little bit more forward so you can keep your heel flat and your knees actually have to go forward. So what does that take? It actually takes a little bit more opening here at the knee capsule or the knee, knee joint. Uh, so we're gonna get into the exercise. It's gonna show you how to progressively get down into this better and better and better. You're gonna need a handy bath towel. Now what we can do with this bath towel is we can roll it in varying degrees. Ideally, in the beginning, a lot of you who have knee joint compression issues are gonna need this right here. It's gonna be thicker. And that way, I like to give the image of one of those crab shell cracking tools that people use. You're creating that hinge where you gap here. And for many of you, keeping your heel flat and then just hinging forward is good enough. You can just sit there for a little bit or you can move it side to side. Now, if you feel a little stretch, for me, I feel it a little bit here right now. You can work into it. Pressure on, pressure off. Pressure on, pressure off. Pressure on, pressure off. So what we're gonna do next is then we're gonna make it the fold a little less. And we're gonna progress right into it here. So now this thickness is smaller and we're gonna get deeper into it again. Good. So I can do that, I can do that. And I'm trying to actually with my hands push it forward a little bit just to give it a little fulcrum. You know, I can work into it, out of it, work into it, out of it, work into it, out of it. Okay, and then I wanna make it thinner. Here, and this is getting looser. Like I'm able to progressively get into this in seconds or minutes for some of you. Good, and then down to the very thin one. Should be able to do more and more and more. Now, once you've got to this point, it's probably worth doing it on the ground so you can use the ground reaction forces. So we're gonna hold that here and we're just going to pretend we're on this boogie board. And so you want, if you're having issues going one way, you work into it. So I'm having issues going that way. This way, easy. This way, a little bit more tougher. So you're trying to gap that knee. It's a knee gapping exercise and helps those of you who have compression, degeneration as well, issues with the kneecap. I would recommend that you don't do this if you have any ACL tears in your history. And then ultimately it's to get down to little or no towel right here. And then I'm just kind of working it in, working it out. So I expect my Asian squat to improve. People may ask what they're doing with their feet. Um, Ideally, you're keeping it flush. You don't want to sickle the toes and your ankle in a different angle. So keep that as straight as possible as well. You get a little bit of lengthening here for some of you who have shin splint issues. 
Oh yeah, that's a lot easier. I can just sit here and hang out, wait for my mom to pick me up. So hopefully you've done our boogie boarding exercise and improved your chance for the Asian squat. And notice that you can get deeper and deeper with a little bit more ease and less pain. Now, some of you with knee issues out there may not be able to do it. This may not be the greatest exercise for you. So check with your healthcare professional, but we'd love to hear your comments. So especially you non-Asians out there, please leave any comments below. Let us know if it worked for you. Please subscribe below, leave these guys. I'm Dr. Lin. Remember, we heal smarter, not harder.